If you want money, we'll collect enough money for you so that you'll be the richest one of us. If you want leadership, we'll take you as our leader and never decide on any matter without your approval. Or, if you want the kingdom, we'll crown you king over us. If you want a wife, we would lead you to the most beautiful woman. What would you answer if all this was offered to you? But the Prophet Muhammad refused all this. If he wanted money, women or power, by the call to Islam, why hadn't he accepted these tempting offers while he was at the beginning of the call? He would have garnered all this without any risk or difficulty. Why did he insist on the call to Allah and delivering the message of Islam to all servants of Almighty Allah? Then, Islam is a divine message that's worth exerting the efforts and bearing hardships and bearing hardships.